Now in this case, the person put their degree at the front page because that was important for the job. But then at the end of their resume, they listed a whole bunch of self-directed courses that they had studied on their own, which shows a great initiative to employer. And because um, it might relate to the employer's job that they're hiring for. So this is a great message to show that you did all these online courses. The other thing that you can put at the end of your resume are interests and volunteer work. And volunteer work actually can be part of your career gaps as well. But if it's not necessary, you should list what things you volunteer at your church, um, volunteer with youth, you, you raise money for cancer. Any of these things are great messages that say you're a good human. And the interests are sometimes something that you might have in common with people that are interviewing you. So that helps you form a connection to the person before they even meet you. So don't be afraid to list some of the you know interests that you might um, want to talk about. Reading, car racing, um, soccer, cricket, uh, swimming, tennis, what, whatever the sports, hobbies that you like, don't be afraid to put just a few bullet points in there. That's it. Thanks for watching.